many, many great movies. And we are now going to do a little skit about one of the all-time classic movies, The Wizard of Oz, with a little bit of twist. Welcome to another edition of Access Hollywood. I'm Tattoo from Fantasy Island. <laughs> I'm your guest host for tonight's special edition. You're in for a special treat tonight as we have all four stars from the recent remake of The Wizard of Oz with us. Let's bring them out. First, she's from Kansas and survived a tornado and recently returned from somewhere over the rainbow. Please welcome Dorothy Gale. Next, we have the very flexible and highly flammable star, the Scarecrow. Our third guest just published his memoirs entitled, The Real Man of Steel. Please welcome the Tin Man. And last, but not least, is the very lovable and shy for ball. And I'm not talking about Chewbacca or the Ewoks. It's the Cowardly Lion. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad you're all here. It's a privilege and an honor to have you here tonight. Am I right in saying that you've never all been in, on an interview show together? That's right, Mr. Munchkin. I'm not a munchkin. You're in Hoopa Loopa, aren't you? I think I saw you on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. No, I'm not a Hoopa Loopa. You're one of those... Keebler elves, aren't you? No. I love cookies, but no, I'm not a Keebler elf, and I'm not one of the seven dwarfs either, so don't even ask. Are you sure you're one of the munchkins? You look awful familiar. Well, to be honest, I was one of the original lollipop guild. Could you please do your little song for us? Please! If we can get on with the interview, I'll do it for you, okay? <laughs> we represent the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. And we welcome you to Munchkin Land. That was wonderful, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now everyone wants to know the new plot twist on your film. What's it called and who can tell me a little bit about it? Well, it's called In Search of Dr. Oz. <laughs> See, we all have some medical problems. And we're headed on Interstate 90 down to Mayo Clinic in search of Dr. Oz so he can help us with all of our medical problems. Very interesting. Yeah. And along the way, well, we run into some evil. We have to deal with health boards, insurances, and oh. I'm a care. <laughs> Scary indeed, yes. In keeping with the original movie, I am needing... a brain transplant. Yeah, I can, I can see. And what about you, Mr. Tin Man? I'm going to have Dr. Oz implant a pacemaker for my heart. That's a good thing. And what about you, Lion? Well, in the movie, I'm having self-esteem problems. <laughs> and because Dr. Phil couldn't help me, I'm looking for a quick fix from Dr. Oz. <laughs> and you, Dorothy, what's your problem? Oh, well, I'm just trying to find love and romance. 
as well as getting Toto well. What's wrong with Toto? Have you seen him lately? <laughs> he doesn't look very good. <laughs> he looks as stiff as the Tin Man. <laughs> Dorothy, it's no secret you've had five failed marriages. But there have been rumors that you've been carrying on with each of your co-stars while filming this movie. Oh, absolutely not! <laughs> I think we have some paparazzi pictures to show. Let's see the first one. <laughs> yeah, I see something happening there. What about number two? That's a little too close. What about the third picture? Oh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Scarecrow, I heard that you did all your own stunts and you ran into a little bit of a problem. Can you tell us about it? Yes, me and fire. We don't get along too well. Check out this picture. I was laid up in the hospital with second degree burns for weeks. They had to shoot some scenes without me. And then there was the flying monkey incident. <laughs> I can see why you're scared. <laughs> Tell me more about it. Well, the whole flying monkey scene was very frightening for all of us. But when the flying monkey tried to pick up Tin Man being made of tin, he, he was too heavy and the monkey dropped him from 30 feet high. How terrible. Fortunately, I broke his fall. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Amazing. Mr. Tin Man, you look a little stiff. Are you having difficulties because of the accident? Yes, sir. Could I bother you for some oil? I have a tendency to seize up. I just happen to have some oil with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's much better than any of that. Is the accident the reason why you haven't been in very many movies through the years? Yes. I got I got typecast as a shallow, empty character with no heart. It's hard to get any good roles. I bet, I see that. And you, Mr. Lion, have you found any courage at all? Well, I've had years of therapy and have gone through many therapists. Dr. Phil, Dr. Fraser Crane, Dr. Laura, and Dr. Ruth, just to name a few. Dr. Ruth's about my size. <laughs> that wasn't therapeutic advice from her. I am getting better, uh, however, the only person that scares me anymore is Dorothy. Dorothy? Why is that? I'm always afraid she's going to slap me. Check out this clip. <laughs> what did you do that for? I didn't buy them. Well, but you tried to. It's bad enough picking on a straw man, but when you go around picking on poor little dogs, well, you didn't have to go and hit me, did you? <laughs> Is my nose bleeding? <laughs> well, of course not. <laughs> I can see that still affects you. <laughs> I can see why you're still in therapy. I'm surprised that you would even consider being in a movie with Dorothy again. I needed the money. I have cubs to feed. <laughs> I know our time is running short, and you have a plane to catch. The plane! The plane! <laughs> I have that bad reflex, I don't know where. Does the movie end well? Do you all find Dr. Oz? Nice try, Tattoo, but you're going to have to spend the $22 to go to the movie and find out for yourself. All I'm going to say is that the movie is filled with adventure, intrigue, and romance. 
Sounds wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for coming in today. I hope you can catch your plane. Get plane, get plane.